Hi everybody. Right, we might get going. So I received this little set in the in yesterday's mail, so I thought I might just um, jump on and do one of a card with um, this little cute set. And when I've got a little cute set, I like to do a kind of a little fun fold so that it's because it's only little, and I, you don't want to sort of um, you want to sort of um, focus it. So I've got two cards for you and I'm going to use, there's nothing to do with turtles, but I'm going to use some paper. <clears throat> and this is on sale at the moment as well. This is the, I think it's called Bloom Where You Planted. It. Is it? Yep, that's what it's called. So this is one of the ones on special. I just had a quick look before and I was thinking, oh, why didn't I use the, you know, the expressions in ink or whatever it's called with the splotchy things and I'm glad I didn't because when I looked it's not in the sale there's that one and the one that goes with that cute punch the one that's a funny shaped punch I can't elegantly said I think it's called my memory's not good for all the different and this um, I'm using these pieces of paper out of this <coughs> set of set of DSP which is also on sale and this is the tiger one I think it's called I know it's called in the wild I don't have the tiger set and I don't have the plant set but that doesn't mean you can't use the back of the papers for some of your projects <clears throat> now got some measurements for you just got to remember what I'm doing oh what did I forget I forgot my <clears throat> my um trimmer i'll just use the i'll just use my tabletop trimmer over there so this piece here is I'll just put that oh i don't have to put it up the other way do i this piece here is four and one eighth which is a half of your normal um a4 cardstock by 11. then you're going to score it in half at five and a half i might actually need my trimmer for the other one but anyway we'll worry about that in a sec um, and then you're going to cut off two and three quarters. So I'm going to do that now, just over here. So here's what we have. We have that piece like that. Then we have this piece here. So what we're going to do, this is your, so I've cut off two and three quarters and your basic white is uh, two and a half by three and seven eighths. Yeah, I think I did, I think I did one a little bit bigger than that, let, let me see, because when I, when I went to put them inside, they were the exact measurement, and I wanted it to overlap a little bit, that doesn't, but I wanted it to, so, okay, so then, so that what happens is this goes here, I think, that's the right way up, and then this goes here, but I wanted a little bit of overlap so that I didn't have to line them up, line this piece and this piece up exactly. I could have a little bit of wriggle room. And actually that looks a bit wide. Why is that wide? Let me see. I might have my pieces mixed up, have I? Yeah, I do. That's that piece and that's that's this piece. Let's just make sure it fits before we start stamping. Now it's a bit long. I'm going to chop a bit off that. I'll just give you that measurement. So this one here, once you've cut it off that piece, is it's about, well it's four and one sixteenth. This piece is four and well, it's just it's just a smidge more than four. So what I'm going to do with this one is bring it back to, I think about three and seven eighths. I'll just do that quickly. Hopefully I haven't cut too much off it now. Yeah, so that'll go there. There's all our pieces, okay. We'll grab our turtle and our ink. I'm going to do this one a little bit differently to the other one. I'm going to use over. I'm not sure which one that was, which where that came from. I have one on my trimmer that I score my um, cardstock as I as I cut it. So yeah, I know I've got ink on that 
which isn't going to matter. Can you see? You can't see what I'm doing, can you? Push that up a bit. So there's our turtle. And it's a two-step stamp. So I see how clever or not I am with this. This is only going on the scratch piece anyway. Just want to make sure that yeah, that's right. That's gonna stamp properly. And try and line that up. And I'm not very good at this, that's why I, oh, that's why I gave myself a long, big long piece in case I screwed it up. <laughs> okay. Try again. Alright. That's better. Should have been a bit lower, but we're not going to fuss about that tonight. Just going to clean those off. And I might leave that open because what do I do with the punch? Because I probably do the little hearts and the happy birthday while I'm while I've got the ink out. Just making sure you can see where I am. You can see, well, you can see in this spot, I should say. So that's about right. And then this happy birthday comes from the same set. Actually, the first one I did, I put the ribbon on first, but I might just go for it and put the ribbon on second. Just make sure that's lined up so that I have a chance of getting that straight. I'm just going to see if I've got enough ink on that, and I do. Leaving room for my ribbon. Oh, find that in a sec. And on the other one, I had some little hearts coming up here. All these stamps that I'm using come out of this same set okay and I think we're good yeah it's a very quick little card now what did I do with my um, <clears throat> chamois clean those off all right now just got to put it together. Just make sure your paper, because like when you cut that, actually, don't move that there. No, I'm not going to get them mixed up now because I've already. You want to make sure that it's the one that you've cut in half like that. If you can see that, I wouldn't want it the other way, other way round or like that because it's not going to match up. And it does matter because you can want to put it down like that. You kind of want them to look as though they're lining up, okay? Now, there's my adhesive. So I can here adhere both of these in now. Making sure. Oops. Had it right the first time. Yeah, that's half of that leaf. That's right. Pays to double check. With me, anyway. Don't know about you guys. There we go. And we'll put our other piece, making sure I've got that up the right way as well. And I have on here. Just looking at my other one, making sure I haven't missed a step. was checking again it was like that get the jolly thing straight woman you could mat this again I debated whether I wanted to do that and decided that I wouldn't and this piece goes here 
this goes here, but we want to adhere that there. It's all, I've got a bit of something there, maybe glue or maybe a bit of ink, but you know what? I'm gonna put my ribbon over that so it's not gonna matter. Glue behave. No, oh, there's one thing I don't like about this glue is when you you've got to oh, you've got to always chase the end and you get sticky on your fingers and I don't I dislike it intensely. Okay, now I want to do my ribbon. Hoping I've left room. I have just yes. And I'm going to do my ribbon like I usually do with a faux bow. This is just how I do it. Some of you guys have got a different way of doing it. I live without my silicon mat. I just, I use it all the time. Um, it might be the, I don't know, the, this one's got a wrong side and a right side really. So I'm going to put adhesive, not all the way along because as you know, if you've watched me before, I um, and I should have said who I am. I'm Cheryl Algy from Kerrang in Northern Victoria, Australia. Here I am getting that glue on my fingers again. Just wrap that around there. Hopefully that's straight. Yep. Anyone asking me any questions? Hi, Rhonda. No one's asking me anything, so that's okay. I'm just going to slip that through there. I probably should have stamped this first because the ribbon's probably going to maybe go over my... Oh no, it's fine. thought it might have covered up my happy birthday, but that's okay. That's fine. And this is the Evening Evergreen ribbon. And we're going to just adhere that obviously we're not going to put adhesive um, all the way there we're just going to put it what i like to usually do is put it there and i'll just i just put my finger there and then i can just put some adhesive can you see i've got to keep making sure i'm in the camera so that you can see so then it's about there and about in the middle no one's going to measure it if it's not. And then what do I do with that little cute little turtle? He's going to go there. Um, maybe I'll use And I've got sticky on my fingers again and I'm not liking it. I've only just used up all my snail and um, what I'll give this adhesive a go. But, but yeah, I'm not... I've got dobs of glue everywhere. Snail didn't do that. It didn't stay on your fingers because you didn't have to... I shouldn't complain, should I? You didn't have to push it all the time to make sure it rolled. You're listening, Stampin' Up? You should bring back our snail. Okay. There's our cute little turtle. down a bit further like that and I have some genial gems I think they're called just grab a little pokey tool going to work with that on there is it and um, put one there I'll have another one uh, about there. Love these genial gems, they're great. Use them a lot. Um, where did I have that? There. Okay, now all that's left to do is to put this piece in here, and you can see, if I bring that there, you can see where I have 
made that a little bit longer so I can just overlap it so I don't have to make sure that it's exactly meeting which is sometimes a bit tricky it took me a few goes with the first one I had it meeting exactly and yeah it wasn't wasn't good it was a bit tricky so there we go there's our first little one that has taken me 20 minutes so so here's our next one just another little um, fun fold did you all get those measurements if you wanted them I'll just leave that there while I grab these out and you can take a screenshot if you want just another fun fold just something a bit different and this one we're not using a full sheet of thanks Jeanette um, we're not using a full sheet you can see that can't you we're just using a half a quarter of a piece of A4 which is Whatever you like to measure it, this is 10.5 or four and a, four and a, is it four and an eighth by 14.75, okay? So then with this one, our DSP goes straight on the front. I'm just making sure that I haven't made a mistake when I've cut it, and I haven't. Always pays to double check, and here's this jolly glue again. I should be using the liquid glue, shouldn't I? Might be less traumatic for my fingers. Here we go again. Oh. And then we have this white piece is I'm just going to grab this one. So this was, I've told you the measurement of that. Now which way around do those flowers go? Who knows? I've got them that way up on my first go. Yeah, I think it's that way up. So then this white piece is seven and three quarters by two and a half. And we're going to score that at three and seven eighths, I hope. Three and seven eighths. Should meet it as actually a little bit little bit short of that I'm actually going to just trim that off now we're just going to put some hearts across here because I want to stick this on in a minute and what else I've just got to stamp my turtle so it's going to be stamped in um, Evening Evergreen as well on hmm, soft succulent, succulent one and we'll do his shell see if I can do a better job of the shell this time Flip it over and just try again. I seem to be going too high up. I should have done one earlier, shouldn't I? I didn't have this trouble before. Isn't it always typical? Yeah, I might bring that down a little bit. And what's the bit I bring it down too far? I'm not the best at two step. Well, that's better at two step stamping, but um, and that's all the stamping I need to do for that. Did my first one a little bit different. I was going to make a, it into a full size card, but I'll show you what I did. I might actually do the envelopes when I'm done too. I just thought, just get these done first. Um, got ink on my block, ink on my block. Stamp off little hearts and now we've got this piece we've got this piece now what we're going to do is put this piece on here um, did I bring any yeah I did just gonna for peace of mind I'm just going to use this And if you were into tigers, you could get this paper and you could cut out the tigers. You don't need a 
don't necessarily need a die cutting machine to do that. Pretty good at fussy cutting. Fancy doing some cards with tigers on them. You didn't want to. Oh, that's crooked. Here we go. That's better. Um, now I've got a punch out turtle out. He's so cute. I wasn't going to get this one, but it's all, all the cards that were being put out and I just thought, well, why not? I deserve to have something huge, don't I? There we go. That away. Now then, all that happens now is this, oh, I have to put my ribbon what have I done there? Well, that doesn't matter. I can put the ribbon. Ah, I have to put it. Well, we're going to do something different with the ribbon, aren't we? Because I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to bring it around here because you can see it on the other side. That's why I'm saying this. I'm going to bring it around. No, we're not. Yes, we are, but we'll have to tie. We'll have to just tie a faux, faux knot, or whatever you call it, a faux bow here because I forgot to stick it um, down under. Where's my tweezers? Try and hold that, hold that as tight as I can. I'm not going to do a bow, I'm just going to do a knot. Okay, just make sure that's tight. Bring it down a little bit and see there's always a way to fix something if you miss a step or jump a step like I did. Okay, that's not quite right either. Now what happens with this one, I think, is, well, I've got to put this on first, I've already done, I was going to show, oh actually, this happy birthday, the same one that I used before, so all I've done, I won't stamp it because you know, you, you guys all know, don't you, it came out of the same set, where is it, I'll show you, came out of that set, so I wanted a banner or something, so this has come from the the lipstick one um oh gosh the one that's got the little the little bag with it you know the one i mean um all dressed up that's it all dressed up so if you're wondering where that banner came from that's where this was the first one i pulled out because i've got them in alph alphabetical order and i thought well that fits that'll do because obviously I couldn't stamp on there unless I embossed it and I wasn't in the mood to emboss tonight. Don't know why. Could have embossed happy birthday on here in white. Maybe I wasn't confident enough to do that. <laughs> I don't know. Just gonna make sure my, uh, my dimensional wasn't going to poke out from there. Now because this is dark I'm going to use the, the um, black dimensionals. They haven't been a big seller. don't know why. Perhaps you think you don't need two lots, which I guess is fair enough. I guess you don't. I don't use them very often I must admit. Are you liking the earlier time? I just thought I'm all ready to go. I've had a busy time and I just thought, why not just jump on a bit earlier? 
and just do this. Okay, where's my multi-purpose glue? I think my measurement might be slightly out. It might be slightly shorter than what it should be. But let's just see. Oh no, it's fine. Oops, I'm not in the middle, am I? Come over a bit. I cut that a little bit too short. So there's your card. It doesn't have a, well, there's not your card because I haven't finished yet, have I? Need to put the gems on. We've got to have some bling, don't we? He is so cute, this little turtle. He's just gorgeous. Who could resist? Oops. My silly gem fell off. because we've got to have three, don't we? Um, probably messed that up, didn't I? There we go. So that's what I did with that one. With the one I made earlier, I made it into a full card. So it depends whether you thought, no, I think that's fine. I think this way is fine because you only really need to write to and from, don't you? You don't need all that bulk. So it's just a cute little card. And did I give you the measurements for that? This I did. The white piece was seven and three quarters by two and a half scored. It's three and seven eighths. So, okay. So now you can all go and get on with your evening and relax, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next week.